I'm excited. Oh man. Wow. It's a lot bigger that than I thought small. it was going to be. <laughs> oh yeah. Today we met in Fishtown and we all got on the ferry. Everything was calm. Like the water is crystal clear. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it really is. I love the water. I've always been attracted to water as well. Kind of a pirate life in me. Uh, I only have one eye, so I've always had like eye patches and things like that. Uh, this looks like paradise. Oh yeah, yeah it so does. Cool. Seeing the sights, it's a very unique perspective on Michigan that you don't usually get. Do you guys bring bear bags? No. Mm -hmm. Why? Are there bears there? Yeah, like micro bears. Apparently. Micro bears? Yeah, are yeah. micro bears. No, they're like a real thing. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I think it's just some All miniature right. like version. No, of I had bear. no idea. Really? I guess we'll have to check it out. Well, because yeah. like it's one of those things where they probably came across on the ice or something like that. So we're gonna have okay. to ask the ranger about that. I don't know if that's real or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've made it to campers just a uh, uh, few minutes off the dock here. Guys, check it out! Yeah, look at that. There's the lighthouse! All right, let's grab our packs, guys. Let's do it. Yep, this is my first time on a Michigan island, so this is really cool. I'm gonna need to put my hiking boots on before we go any further beyond this point. Totally. Yeah, sandals are that. not good yeah, for hiking. <laughs> I just thought, like, like, we're gonna be on the boat for so long, you know? <laughs> Welcome to South Manitou Island. Part of Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. My name's Ranger Amy. If you have any questions, you are responsible to know and follow all the wilderness camping rules and guidelines. The easiest way to do that is leave no trace. So that means take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. Moves us right into the next topic, protect what you love, like your food from bear. We don't think we have any of the big bear here, but we have plenty of the micro bears, those chipmunks. Um, and after that, I think go and have the kind of fun that you want to share with your future generations, just as beautiful as you shared it with today. It's extremely important for me to get out into nature. This is cool. Oh yeah. Once you do it, it's just therapeutic. Ugh, look how blue the water is. It's like an ocean. <laughs> Being here, it's not just about seeing, it's, it's also about like the feeling, you know, like hearing the waves lap against the shore and kind of like feeling the wind. With a picture, you can only see one vantage point, whereas like here you get a 360 degree view. Uh, if you want to actually experience it, you're gonna have to make the trek. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, we got to see the gorgeous lighthouse. It was just so picturesque. Hello! Hey. How you doing? Hey. Hey. How are you? Welcome to South Manitou. This is the lighthouse. And this was built in 1871. Let's go inside and take a look. Awesome. All Thank right. you. It's 117 steps. Easy peasy. Yeah, get our steps in for the day. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, now you can see that this light here, you see that all the brass work that they worked on. And on top of that is the electric light. It's a lamp that's only 175 watts. Um, and it can be seen for 10 miles on this lake. Oh, man. Wow. Ugh, that water is just like crystal clear. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Better watch out, those micro bears are like gonna keep Yeah, you. right? Yeah, they're gonna, yeah. They're gonna come running. <laughs> Dinner time. <laughs> it's very important for my wife and I to spend time together outside. Man, that's the best. Like, really, like, there's nothing better than being out here with her and like spending some time. I had retinoblastoma, so that's cancer of the retina. Um, I had to have it removed. It was one of those things too where you realize the frailty of life. So I think I really appreciate it more just because of the whole vision thing. If I were to go blind, I want to take this all in now. So really grasp on and seize the moment. This is getting in touch with nature and things that have been here before us will be here after us, you know? Uh, yeah, I think it's important just to stay connected and grounded to things beyond ourselves. I definitely feel rejuvenated after a trip like this. It helps me refocus myself. And again, just to take that deep breath. It's really quiet, it's so cool. 
it's paradise. <laughs>